What is up guys? It's Jess here. Thank you for checking in again. So Gus is somewhere around here running around so if you guys see him in the shot later, that's why. But first things first, if you guys haven't seen the video of me selling my prelude, you guys should definitely check that out. It will kind of explain as to why I'm in here today. Uh, in the description of that video, I mentioned that I kept a few parts for the prelude and one of the parts that I actually kept were Passer JDM hood spacers. They were brand new. I never put them on. Uh, I had intentions of putting putting them on my prelude with the hood with the VIS carbon fiber hood that I have. Sorry, but I never had the chance. I was always too lazy, and I never really did it. So oh well, the prelude's gone, and now I'm making use of them by putting them on my IS300. Uh, they're not the color scheme that I really would prefer for my IS300, but I'm gonna make them work because I have I have them, and I have no use for them. I can't return them, so might as well make use of them. And I actually do kind of like them. I like what they say on the side. Uh, you guys will see that in a little bit. But I'm going to be modifying them to fit the IS300. It's really straightforward. You, all you really need is a drill bit. This, I'll tell you the size right now. And new bolts. Uh, I will tell you the exact bolts you need as well. If you buy the exact spacer that I have. So without further ado, I'm going to show you what you need. So guys, this is what I'm working with. It is a piece of wood held in place by a 15 pound weight. So, as mentioned, these are the Passer JDM hood spacers that I will be using on the IS300. Uh, in order to make them fit, uh, it's really straightforward. All you need is a 15 16 bit to hollow out the hole so that the new bolts go in perfectly fine. Uh, the bolts that they actually send you in the kit are for Honda, so they will definitely not fit. Uh, you would definitely go, definitely go to like Home Depot or Lowe's and they will have bolts uh, in the proper size that you need. These are the bolt sizes that you need. It is a M8 by 125 40 millimeter. Uh, if you use these exact two things that I am using here today, they will fit. If you use something else and they don't fit, uh, that is on you. But the bit you need is a 15 16th. I am using this cone bit because I, I didn't have anything else at hand. Here we are at the car, and as you guys can see, this is super flush. So there is absolutely no work for that air to escape. There's actually, I think, a rubber piece that goes around the hood as well to entrap whatever air is in there. In there. So hopefully, by putting on these spacers, it will allow air to escape, allowing for the temp inside the engine to be lower. And technically, if you have a colder intake or short ram intake, it should be in the engine bay, so it would make for your intake to get colder air as well, which would be a beneficial thing. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pop open the hood and then I'll show you guys what exactly you have to remove. So under the hood, uh, all you have to do to remove the hood from the actual car is there are four 12s holding it in, uh, it's one either side. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those and I'll install the hood spacer and show you the new bolt, the new bolt uh, size is actually a 10 millimeter so you will need a 12 and 10 mil to be able to do this installation but it's really straightforward Guys, so I'm here in front of the IS300, and I ended up being able to get the I, the, I mean the spacers put on. And so I ran into a little bit of an issue. I initially said that you needed a 516th bit, but uh, after further investigation and trial and error, I would advise you to actually try out the 716 bit and just uh, make both holes as big as you can, or basically the 716 size. And it'll allow you to have like an extra little bit of wiggle room so that you can make your hood fit specifically like like good to the line so that it's not like bigger or more open on one side than it is the other. So that's what I chose to do. And he's over here <laughs> eating the ice cream behind me. But here, here you have the results. Um, if you guys can see, it is vented now. Um, it's not a lot, but it's enough. 
for to give it a little look. Um, I guess this is it's this is the car's first official mod, um, but besides that, the car is completely stock. I will be doing a video of walking around and tell you telling you guys everything about this car because I haven't really made that introduction yet. But I will be doing that. Um, but I made it. I finished just in time. Uh, the Earth is over here talking to us. There's a lot of thunder out right now, so. I'm happy that I got that done. It looks a lot better, I guess. Um, and I got to use something that I hadn't really used for anymore. But let me see if I can show you. That is what it looks like from the side, the right position for the wind. So I'm very ecstatic about this mod. If you're gonna do it yourself, all you need is a 716 bit and those bolts that I mentioned earlier, and you should be able to get that done. You guys, you guys remember on mine, I he, guess we have to look dirty, but he mine has, is not as, um, professional yeah <laughs> he on his is 300 he has just nuts nuts and then uh longer bolts holding that in but we went a more professional route and this is the solution all right guys so here is the comparison between gus's is 300 the hood spacers on his uh as you guys can see there's just literally two nuts spacing it out uh he just put a little bit of a longer bolt to hold it in place but here is the comparison to mine where you can see it has a little bit more of a slant and it's just a little more open because of that bigger piece of aluminum but besides that they're pretty identical 